so this place is absolutely beautiful and it's also beautiful in South Carolina right now I don't know how it up is up by you guys but it's it was 70 degrees the other day that is the indoor pool your tennis and basketball courts and then you have like a little pond in between and then your gazebo area and then I'll do like the whole drive out thing and then all the way down there where that car is driving to that's going to be the intercoastal waterway but these buildings are very similar to the other ones that y'all like. Same layout and everything. There's no elevator. But it's very easy and accessible. Um, this is their mail room. And each building has one, which is super convenient. Um, so everybody has a key that is in this building. So your mailbox is in there, which is so, so convenient. Let's see if this works for your... It doesn't, but there's a storage unit there, so you can leave, like, your beach stuff in there. And I'll just show you the HVAC while we're out here. I love these stones in between. It makes it so nice. And then you have your golf course there. So this one is going to be A, which is you guys. It just looks like your normal, not even corrosion or anything, because it's not corroded. It's just dusty, I guess. But it looks good. Like everything around it, you just, I guess need to power wash it. It just, it looks good. That one, they look like they just put it in yesterday. Alrighty. Like everything, like your breakers and everything. Well, your meters, not your breakers are all right there. Let's go in here. It smells very clean. It has a... I don't even know what this scent would be. Kind of like an ocean-y scent. So you can see here, they've just patched up a couple things here and there. That thing next to that and it holds the door open because it was metal I was like what is holding on to the door well, let's see if this is their owner's closet that does not work for that but you do have keys and passes and stuff here get through your parking passes all that good stuff does have built-in surround sound already. That's pretty neat. Look at this kitchen. That's very nice. I like this faucet. <laughs> and this really deep sink. I don't know if I can portray that to you, but that's really nice. And these cabinets, they did some upgraded cabinets in here. When you do like this recess here and the extra I don't know how to describe it like the two-tone that's expensive they are not soft clothes they did a cute lazy Susan in there so they must rent this out or something oh this is so cute this is the extra window that was outside and they do have security systems on everything already. That might be not transferable, but like you can pick up where they left off. And they have full size washer and dryers. That is nice. Normally it's the stackables. So that's very, very nice. And some recessed lighting. Oh, they have a little safe in the wall. That is so cute. And this refrigerator is nice. Yeah, they definitely use this as a rental. All matching appliances. All Kenmore, and Kenmore is a really good brand. Oh, look at how cute this is. 
So you have room, obviously, in all of your cabinets, but then also in your laundry room if you wanted to have, like, extra storage over there. So much space. Oh, look at this for your soap. And then you have, again, for your security system. There we go. There we go. Neat. And you have all your bar stools over here. The color of this floor, there's definite gray in here, but there's also brown and taupe. Literally anything will match this flooring. They picked out a fabulous color. Look at this giant window. Like you get so much light from this window, but you're also not having people look in because they have to be like right here to look at you. So that's really nice. And this paint color they chose is like a creamy gray taupe also. So that goes really well. You really just have those minor paint touch-ups, which is gonna be normal especially for a rental. Or it's just right along there in the hallway. But everywhere else so far is looking really good. I love the surround sound system in here. And with all this furniture, because this is pretty large furniture, especially with the extra ottoman and everything, you still have all of this room right here. Built-in entertainment center, all that fun stuff. I love that you have an extra speaker there too. And they redid these. That's nice. Let's see if this is a sleeper. I have a feeling it is. It is! That's so nice. We'll go through the rooms and then we'll go to the patio. So this is the room that they're taking, this furniture. Which, honestly, you can buy better furniture somewhere, but it's not bad. Looks like they took a piece from there, and that would be super easy to get, like, a small entertainment center to put underneath that. And this feels a little bit crowded, having that there anyway. And then having, this is a queen, maybe a full. You can definitely fit a king in here, and then have two nightstands, and then you Honestly, who needs a dresser? Because you guys aren't, aren't going to be here full time. You're just going to have renters and you want to have more space anyway. And then out here, your view is going to look like that. Beautiful. This paint, it's like they just painted the rest of the house. It looks perfect. And then in here, they also redid the bathrooms. They have fantastic taste in remodeling. Like that cabinet perfectly matches the floor. Oh, these ones are soft clothes. That's very nice. And you have a bathtub in here. They even changed that out. All of the fixtures match. There is not a single thing out of place in this house. This is beautiful. Their ceilings, they're just the, the sponge ceilings. I don't know if that makes sense to you. So it's not full popcorn. It's just like somebody painted it and they took a sponge to it to give it texture. And then going backwards, we're going to go to the other room, the bathroom. We will stop over here. You do have recessed lighting throughout the house and these lights are beautiful and so bright. And this is going to be your utility closet. Look at what their floors used to look like. So cute.
And all of this is just dusty, but it's not bad. It's not in bad shape at all. You can see when they last changed the filter. The water heater. Looks like it's in really good shape and they put a short one, but the big one in here. Let's see. Do we have a date? It complies with that, but I need a date. I'm not sure. It looks relatively new though. You can definitely, there's a lot more room in there where you can just leave a bunch of stuff in there as well. And then this, everything in here, the fans also work. Everything in here matches the other bathroom. I love these sinks. These are so pretty. They leave this place spotless when they leave. Everything is very particular and in its place. Oh, I didn't notice those lights. Those are so cute. Very nice. And then over here, this is the second bedroom. This is a great size room. They have two like tiny twin size beds. You can probably fit a, I know you could fit a king in here. You can do bunk beds. If you take out the ceiling fan, you can do all sorts of stuff. There's just a ton of space in here. And then this just faces the parking lot. But you do get a view of like a bunch of other stuff out there as well. And then this closet is just a normal size closet. Pretty much like the other one. And let's test your thermostat for you. I want to make sure that you see the backsplash because that backsplash is very nice. Look at how much counter space you have. Beautiful. All right. Oh, right now they have it on air. It's pretty warm in here. We'll turn it to heat. I don't know how to work this thing. There you go. It kicked right on. Can you hear it? Let's go over to a vent. There are a ton of vents in this house. And even they changed the vents. Dang. Yeah, you're looking good. All right, we're gonna put it back to cool where they were. I'm not messing with anybody's thermostat for an extended period of time. All right. And let's go outside.
Then you have this area out here. You do have a door to get in through the side. So if you just want to like come in the back way or whatever it may be, like you're golfing and you want to come in, like whatever it is, you do have a way to get out over there. But it's so cute, isn't it? It's perfect. And they are taking this patio furniture, which the patio furniture is a little bit crowded, which is okay. It would work if it was staying. But there are some fantastic deals on patio furniture anyway. But yeah, that's this condo. Let's see. Oh, and that slider slides very well. And you can see the slider looks great. They look like newer windows too, like they recently put those in. Let's turn off all these lights. And then I will take you on a drive out of here. Let me, this is seriously the only wall where it looks like a renter or somebody knocked some stuff out knock some stuff out but they like just nicked the wall the whole way down or maybe they were moving or something you never know all right and now take a drive around and I'll show you what the neighborhood looks like like look at that the sunset's coming through beautiful This is the end of the neighborhood. Is over here. And it's just an area to like walk your dog, all that fun stuff. And then you head back this way. there is how you get to the pool that's the pool right there so it's just right after that and then between 20 and 20 something you are going to find See, look at the gazebo from over here. That's beautiful. And you can always 
cross over there to make it easier for yourselves and not have to walk all the way around, which is so convenient. Instead of having to walk all the way around the lake. the waterway access right there so it's pretty much just right across from where your building is would be your waterway access and then to get out of here it's just a big circle is all the parking lot is so it's so easy that beeping is kind of really annoying and then this is what your gate looks like and the gate is other than somebody walking or driving a golf cart from golfing um it's so secure because you have to know somebody's code or you personally have to have a code or you can call somebody in here but that was it